Hello, welcome back. So, I'm taking another look at Rockstore. Uh, I just updated today to 3.8-12.08. And I wanted to check out how we would set up an MB server. So, I came to Rock Ons with the MB server and install. So, we need a config storage location and we need a media storage location. So, media storage, I know where that's going to be. Um, I have a media... Um, share that I created before but I need a share that's going to hold the um, the configs for MB so I'm going to call this one MB configs and I'll put it in there it can be small I don't think this you know right now it's not being enforced but that's okay so we got that we got that right there we hit submit now we have MB configs configs so we'll go back to rock ons go to all MB server install all right so config storage MB configs media storage media we'll go next all right 8096 okay that's fine all right you you UID to run MB server as all right all right hmm so interesting so I don't have one of those so let's go out of here Let's go to system users. Let's see. All right. Just looking to see what we've got going on here. All right. Well, let's create one. Let's create one called MB. All right. MB. Uh, all right. Just for the sake of this, will make an easy password. No public key, bin bash, that's fine. UID, won't be auto generated. Group, create a new one. Email, okay, submit. All right, so now we have MB. And MB needs to have, um, let's see, where's MB? He's in here in the back, no? How could I miss it? It should be, there it is. All right, 1001. Okay. So we want MB. Let's go to shares. We want him to have permissions on that share. So let's go to shares. Um, shoot, I'm not. I, he probably needs it on both, but let's see. Let's go back here. MB server install. MB configs. Media. Yep. All right. So this would be. He needs to have permission to media shares. Okay, so media shares needs to have permission. Okay, so let's go to media shares. It's interesting that it doesn't say that we need to have. So this is the owner. Now, it does have others can be re execute, but. I wonder how what I would want to actually do in this situation because I can only have one owner. Maybe I would make it the MB group. Let's do a save on that. All right, let's see. So we we'll go to system. We we'll go to rock ons. I'm gonna have to look into how this user stuff works on Rock Store to get it just right. All right. All right, media. Next. Next. 1001. 1001. So we'll go to the Rock Ons page right here. All right, so it's installing MB server. Um, so definitely one of the things that um, <coughs> that would be nice about having the MB server on here, as opposed to on its own VM, is that it's going straight off the machine that has the the media. It doesn't have to um, go. Uh, 
it doesn't have to go get it off of somewhere and create a lot more network traffic for no reason. All right, so we see the CPU is going here. Boom, 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 boom. So it's probably still working. This is kind of trippy over here. All right, let's go back to the rock odds. All right, so MB Media Server is started. I go to the MB Server UI. Cool, look at that. Next. App users, fine. Yep, next. Add the media library. This will be movies. And let's see, media. Okay. We'll go next. We'll go next. Skip this one. And next. And done. App user. All right, here we go. Look at that. All right, so let's go to the movies. We should have one movie, which is a, uh, no movie suggestions are currently. Uh, we should have one that was a, uh, something I added in from uh, a Blender project. I guess it's this one. It probably didn't grab the right thing. So let's go to the metadata server. Movies. Yep, so this is uh, a, uh, Blender movie. This is not what it should be. So we're gonna identify. Nope. Nope. And it was uh, it's something that I knew had an IMDb ID. Um, that's why I, I picked it out of all the possible Blender movies. Here we go. This is what it is. We'll do submit. Save. That may or may not have. Sometimes this thing takes a couple tries to work correctly. Um, I was having some issues with the metadata thing uh, the other day. Um, for refresh. All right, let's try this again. Identify. This is the one thing where it tends to be a lot easier with, uh, it tends to be a lot easier with Cody versus MB. Maybe I just need to delete that first. Delete that. I've had to do that in the past in order to get things to work correctly. I'll just put the name here. Save. I don't know why it's showing the wrong thing there still, but that's okay. So I hit save. I want to do a refresh. For refresh. All right, I think now I can probably pull in. Nope. Still pulling in the wrong thing. So now if I go back over here, should be the right thing, but it may or may not be. There we go. Look at that. Cool. So there we go. So it's uh, pretty easy to set it up. Um, this is running on a... Uh, on a VM, so I would imagine 
that it would be just fine on uh, on a relatively beefy-ish uh, server. All right, I'm not gonna watch this movie, but so there we go. So now if I come back over here, all right, very cool. So I think that's pretty neat that you can just do that. And I've got a media server. They've got all kinds of cool stuff here. Some of it more legit, some of it a little um, like the Jenkins and the Gogs. Mm, Kit Lab. Um, I could actually potentially see myself using this um, to kind of be a second repository for GitLab versus um, just leaving it on my main machine. Um, and then we've got some stuff that's a little less legit. Uh, but yeah, so it's pretty cool that we've got these different things here. It'd be neat if they ended up adding a crash plan on here. So far, the only issue I've been having um, since the last video I made is that my pools refuse to update. So that media, if you look at the shares, media, it shows that I'm using up 500 megs for that um, Blender file, but when I go to pools, it doesn't show up that it's being used. Um, so, so far that's the only, that's the only real bummer uh, in terms of, in terms of not, uh, not behaving the way I would expect. Uh, especially for a product that uh, you can pay money for support. But, you know, overall still good. Still looking like something I'd like to check out uh, when I get the hardware necessary. All right, well, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.